looks like it just floated over the line of scrimmage. So second and ten, Chris Alexander checks back into the lineup for Mondo Costello now. Also in there, Bob Clark at one of the wide receivers. We'll see who else is in there. Steve Boomy in there at tight end, the leading receiver on the team. Tom Poynton is also in there at fullback, and Bart Letkovich is the other wide receiver. Here's a pass to Alexander, tripped up right at the line of scrimmage by the Bobcats, so it'll be third and ten, and Miami's going to have to scramble back to get in position with 30 seconds to go. Remember, they have got to pick up 15, 20 yards at least to get down, have any chance. Now a timeout being called. That's Miami's last timeout with 25 ticks of the clock left in a tie ball game. And the real question mark is, what happens if Miami doesn't get the first down here? Do they punt it, or do they go for it? If you go for it and miss, there might still be about 15 seconds left, and then OU could come back and win the ball game with a field goal. Plenty of time for Andy Thornton to maybe throw up a pass. Lord knows what can happen in this game. It has been a wild one. A lot of turnovers, a lot of unexpected penalties, interceptions. Just what looked like the Redskins were driving, they throw an interception. What looked like the Bobcats were driving, they throw an interception. They all lead to scores. The 25 seconds left, 22-22 our score. Well, Mark Matthews is checking back in. He's the hero so far today. He's the one that caught the two-point conversion to get us where we are now at 22-all. Tom Poynton comes out. He's the big fullback. So I think Joe Napoli's going to go with a lot of wide receivers. That would make sense on this play with no timeouts remaining. And all the Redskins really can hope for, they can pick up the first down, and the clock will stop momentarily, enough to get them up to the line of scrimmage. So they're going to go with Bob Clark, Milk Stiegel, also Steve Foomey and Mark Matthews in there on third and 10 at their 45. Costello also in. He's going to throw the bomb to Stiegel, incomplete down at the 30-yard line. Good coverage back there by Bill Garrett, but it looked like Stiegel had a shot and couldn't quite come up with it. Garrett had great coverage. Good pass, though, by Joe Napoli. That was really the only place he could have thrown it. A little bit behind Stiegel, and it might have been intercepted. And the Redskins, it looks like, are going to punt the ball, so they might just sit on the tie. But and then again, keep in mind, you got Larry Hargrove back there. This might be even more dangerous than going for it on fourth down. And, they, and the Bobcats don't buy it at all, because Chris Andrula, of course, is a quarterback, and they expect him to throw the ball here, I think but he's going to punt it. And folks, I think we're going to end with a tie. 12 seconds left, Ohio.